Just as Pastor Linda talked about the compasses of our hearts, we move to talking about the compasses for our congregational life. In an effort to listen to the still speaking God, we have made covenants as a way to guide our lives together, represented by the beautiful banners that are hanging behind. We have our six covenants that form and inform our lives from how we worship to how we budget to how we serve. On our quest formation retreat, each quester was asked to choose a covenant that was meaningful to them to explain what it means in the life of this congregation and what it means in their hearts. The Just Peace Covenant. The Just Peace Covenant represents love, kindness, and respect in the world. We believe that Jesus taught us to love our neighbors. This guides us to solve conflicts without violence and condone violence as a whole. The covenant guides my life by showing me that through the teachings of the Bible, to respect and love everyone, even if they have a different view than that of the church or myself. The Just Peace Covenant guides us in the following the teachings of love thy neighbor. The Inclusive Language Covenant. The Inclusive Language Covenant is essentially saying that we don't sum up all of God or all of humanity with one word. We alternate pronouns or use they, them for God. We say for all people kind rather than mankind. Our worship is rich with metaphor and poetry rather than the literal meaning of some of the words in the Bible. As a congregation who accepts all people, we acknowledge that our words have power, and we don't want to accidentally make someone feel as if they don't belong because of the language we use. Additionally, we acknowledge that God is an entity without gender and do not want to contradict that by using exclusively he, him pronouns. As someone who's been hurt by exclusive language, I feel especially strongly about this covenant. Being aware of the words we use can help make this church into a safe place for people of all walks of life. Accessible to all. Accessible to all, or A2A, is a covenant that gives people in our congregation that have disabilities access to ramps and hearing aids. This covenant is important to me because it shows that people with dis all disabilities, visible or invisible, are seen. Creation justice is the belief that creation is a gift from God, and God created every person to be equals and to be connected to each other, the earth, and God. Creation justice guides the life of this congregation by showing it that all people are connected and are on equal levels. Creation justice is meaningful to me because the equality of all people is very important to me, and how everyone is woven together to the earth and to God really resonates with me. As a church, when we talk about ourselves as an open and affirming community, one of the important topics that fits into this category is known as WISE, which is the Welcoming, Inclusiveness, Support, and Engagement in Mental Health Ministries. Our church focuses on the idea that all people are loved by God, no matter what kind of person you are. If a person finds themselves struggling with their mental health, we believe that person has every right to belong in our community and is offered assistance if needed as well as further educating others within this organization of welcoming. This particular covenant was created in order to make sure that those who are struggling in any way with their mental health know that they are welcomed here with open arms, as well as organizations or groups that the church manages to support these types of people with these types of struggles. This covenant helps me to understand and help those who may need my assistance or guidance on the topic. Like the covenant our church follows, I aspire to follow these traditions just as our church does. And as we have five questers and six covenants, they have volunteered me for the sixth. <laughs> the open and affirming covenant says that we are a church that is open and affirming to people of all sexual orientations and gender identities, both in membership and in church leadership. This means that we see people for the rainbow of creation that they are, and we celebrate the fullness of each other's lives. This covenant is particularly important to me because I think that God loves everyone, and everyone should know that. It's also like the rest of these covenants, admitting to the ways that organized religion has messed up 
and caused harm to LGBTQ folks. This covenant guides our actions, and it's also a public commitment to do better so that church truly is a place of safety, peace, and hope for all. And at the Quest Formation Retreat, we had a big ask of our questers, as Pastor Linda described, write a group statement of faith. And so we looked at these five teenagers who are full to the brim with their own beautiful and unique thoughts and feelings and said, find your common thoughts about God and create a statement of faith that you can all agree on. Take a moment and reflect on how hard of an ask that is. In this culture of polarization and individuality, with a topic as deeply personal as what you believe, these five have taken a risk to be vocal and vulnerable and created what they are about to read to you. So if you want to go ahead, get up. want to explain how this, um, this statement of faith that's on the back of your bulletins came to be. So first, they brainstormed the different elements of faith, answering questions like, if someone asks you what you believe, what could they be asking about? You know, and they came up with ideas like God, the church, the afterlife, creation, communion, and others. And then they had quiet reflection time where they were asked to pick at least five of these different elements of faith. They wrote down what they believed, what they didn't believe, what they have questions or doubts. And then everyone came together and identified the elements that they wrote about. And then, and then God spoke so loudly that topic by topic, they talked through what was important to include and to exclude in their statement of faith. One took notes and penned a draft, and then each took turns writing and editing crossing things out and adding things, continuing the discussion from before. And throughout the process, they were kind, and they were humble, and they were brave. So as we listen, we listen with joy and with open hearts, as together our quest formation participants read, This We Believe. This We Believe. God is love, eternal and undying, creator of all, being of peace, embodiment of love, and giver of life. God lives on, is infinite, and breathes life into our world, our faith, and our love. The Holy Spirit is our eternal flame, forever spreading the word, open to all. The bread that is never finished, the cup never empty. Jesus, the beautiful Son of God, loved all, brought us together, makes us forget our differences and rejoice. Communion is for all, as the bread is broken and the juice is poured for all, gathering us together to share the spirit and love of Jesus wherever we are on our faith journey. Baptism, the water running over us, cleansing us, and bringing us together in community. And in an unending sea or a small basin, God's love is represented in the water that gives us life, reminding us that we are loved and accepted. Our responsibility, our mission, our time given to us by our Creator is to love God and our neighbors as ourselves, to care for the broken and weary, those who seek help, respect and care for creation and others, as respect is a teaching of God, to protect our earth, others, and ourselves, as a community forever endowed and built on love. 